explain to me the two three pointers there at the end. Just, yeah. You know, first of all, just to be able to take the shot, especially the one on the sideline in front of the bench. Yeah, um, I feel like I missed some easy ones throughout the game. Uh, you know, just some very makeable shots from the three point line and then down the stretch. Just went in time. And, you know, John played great defense. Uh, you know, contested very well at the top of the line. Like, my jump, and even when I let it go, I made sure I had enough air underneath it. Um, so I had just some chance to, if it missed, I was going to get a rebound from one of my teammates. But just try to get my, my elbow point to the rim and uh, on both shots. I just feel good about it. Before the season, you said you came into the season in a different state of mind, uh, a different piece. Mm -hmm. Has that impacted you at all? And how so? Uh, well, yeah, I think when you have any piece, I think it makes your job a lot easier, you know, coming in and figuring things out and trying to get ahead of yourself of, um, you know, kind of wanting the future to happen now. You know, you have goals that you set. You, know, you, you want to attain them, but I think going through it and figuring it out is probably the most enjoyable part. It's, you know, you got to enjoy the pain and suffering as much as you enjoy the, the happiness and, and going up and having highs on the season. So, um, you know, just enjoying it and making sure my teammates are enjoying it, making sure we're smiling, having a great time, and, you know, just having a great time competing and doing what we love. I think that's the best part of, about this. You came down the tunnel, honked the horn, excitement after this one. What did this one mean to you My, guys? I honk the horn every time. Um, this is a thing that I have with security here. It's not personal against anybody. It's, you know, um, since I've been a rookie, you know, being here, just honking the, the kind of equipment horn. Um, you know, that's the thing. But, you know, just feeling good and making sure that we're playing the right way. Obviously, offensively, we weren't playing with the same pace that we want. And uh, defensively, John got going downhill a few times and, and just really kept the game close. And, you know, a few mental mistakes here and there that we can correct, but um, our effort was there. Um, you know, just wasn't in the right places at the right times all the time. So, uh, just some things to correct, but we'll take the win. I really mm -hmm. think the margin was between was three or fewer for about ten minutes there in the fourth quarter. How wild was that stretch? It's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun basketball. Uh, understanding that there's some great players on the floor that are capable of making some great plays. So, you know, you never know what can happen down the stretch. You know, Brad misses. You know, a free throw and gets the layup. And that, that, you never know the flow of the game, what can happen. So you just try to stay prepared. And I felt like I got a good look going into uh, OT to, to end the game, but just didn't go my way. So I just had to battle in five more minutes and, you know, we'll, we'll out. In Street 7, are you finding out anything more about this team than you didn't already know? No, I'm pretty capable of uh, playing at a high level. So I think just staying consistent is, is the biggest thing for us. Um, and just make sure we're having fun. I, I always say it to these guys, you know, in the locker room or on the plane or coming into work, just you know, enjoy the workplace and build relationships with the guys that you're going to be with for you know, 82 games plus. So you, know, you want to have a great group. Um, you know, it takes 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 work to build it. Kerry, I'm interested. When you look at those seven games, the wins have come in like all different ways. You know, blowouts, mm -hmm. close games like tonight. Some players in, some players out. When you when you look at this group of games, what stands out to you the most? Uh, I would say, oh man, there's so many good things that we're doing. Um, you know, it's just like night and day, just, you know, thinking about when we were at that point, you know, having a, not a crossroads point, but going 10 and 10, and then, you know, having that switch where it's just like, okay, we're a veteran group, now let's be one. Like, let's, let's not just so much talk about being a good team. Like, let's talk about, you know, every single day, how do we work towards being a great team? We don't want to be a good team, we want to be a great one. So. That takes work, and it takes great practice habits. It takes great preparation. It takes great communication. You know, make sure nobody's taking anything personal in the environment. You know, an environment, and, and just speaking to one another. You know, and like like I said, and I'm gonna keep repeating. It's just having fun with it. You know, even the ups and downs of just doing it. So, what went into the decision to pull up for that that last one when you were just kind of coming down the court? Mm -hmm. What was that? What, what went into kind of the decision to to take that last shot there? Uh, just try to win the game. Honestly, just try to get enough enough separation. You know, three points are you know pretty much a dagger. So I just try to get my feet set, like I said, and just get my elbow pointed to the rim. It's a little deep out, but a very makeable shot.